So today is a glorious day for all the Android owners that can't get root or have a problem with it. <clears throat> it appears Chainfire has developed the latest Super SU Beta 2.61 currently. Uh, and this apparently seems to root every lollipop, marshmallow, and probably beyond device. And um, here is the actual link. Okay, you want to go to the third, uh, the other two postings are for much earlier development of this project. So the third posting of today is the one you want to look at. And basically, I've already tested it on my uh, Galaxy Tab 4 7-inch SMT237P. And I'll show you in a second that this method works great. As long as you have a recovery that works and you know that works for your device uh, and you're not afraid to trip Knox, which of course voids your warranty and uh, denies you any future OTA updates, then try this method if you really want root. This is a new systemless install uh, and it shows you right there if on Android 6 or Samsung 5.1. So this should work for any Samsung device or Nexus device on Lollipop, Marshmallow and Beyond. And real quick, I'll just show you. I uh, already had this rooted. I went through a tedious process of getting this rooted. And of course, I had to just try this method. <clears throat> So, it works. Settings, there you go. Super SU Free 261. Now, some options have been disabled. Of course, because this is a new build, you can't uh, do a couple things here. You cannot install it into system. Uh, here it is, see, you can't put it into system because it's system less. And you can't turn it off. So those are some things to think about. But um, if you really need root, then it works. The only problem is the ES File Explorer does not work. All these work fine. And you probably need to put BusyBox in because uh, some of the apps will not work without BusyBox. Uh, like Kernel, Auditor, uh, Idea Tour. And that's where you want to go into actually really quick to do. I find this the best program to do backups of your boot and recovery. See that? So I have stock recovery, stock boot, and all of them. And you can go into and uh, drag them over to your SD card if you want. <clears throat> But I'll show you, ES File Explorer has a little issue of working here. That This is the latest version from Play Store at this time. And... No, tools, scroll down and see what happens when I hit Root Explorer. Test failed, and it will not copy over anything. But you can still back up apps. But you back up an app, and then you have to go into... I uh, started using FX File Explorer, which is great. It works great. You just got to get used to it. Uh, and then you can get into system. It has no problem getting into system. And it warns you, which is a nice thing. So, at any rate... Uh, yeah. Root any Samsung or Nexus device currently right now. And that's it. Just go here. 
as long as you have a recovery that you know that works for your device and current uh, Android build verified then you can just simply download this on a stock ROM and kernel um, and install it and you should have root enjoy